What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and today I'm unboxing two different pairs of sneakers and one of them is actually an upcoming pair of Jordans that I've been waiting for for a long time and it isn't even coming out till November. Thanks so much for tuning in today, it really means a lot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet and also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at RealSethFowler. I feel like I'm really far forward, is the camera lower than usual? I don't I don't know what's going on. Well, let's just move on. These are two different sneaker boxes, or I'm assuming sneaker boxes, that I got in the mail today. This one is a mystery, and this one is from Fine Line 1721. So I'm gonna save this one till last because it's crazy and I'm really excited about it. So let's put this off to the side and let's get into this uh, giant white box that really feels like it's too big for whatever's inside. I'm actually really stoked to see what this is because a lot of times brands will send me an email or something letting me know that something is coming. In this case, literally nothing. Just just nothing. I saw that it was from a name that I recognized, so that's why I thought that it was a pair of sneakers. But to be honest with you, I have no idea until I pop the top. So here we go. Let's see what we've got. Okay. Got a note. Alright, okay. It looks like the note's telling us what it is, so I'm not going to read this just yet. I'll pull out the box. Here we go. So this is the box. It's obviously a pair of Adidas. It's coming in this really nice, very glossy blue and white box. A classic Adidas box with the uh, Trefoil logo on it. You've got the name of the sneaker on the front. The colorway is something white, solar red, blue. And it's a size 9, which is my size, which is, you know, that makes sense because they sent it to me. So let's pop the top of this guy and see what we've got. Okay. Okay, very nice. This is a pair of ZX 2K Boosts, I believe. And this is in the white, blue, and solar red colorway. I actually think I saw some people unbox this on their channel, like um, Cousteau and possibly Heskix. Not 100% sure, but I was interested in trying out this colorway. I actually have a couple other pairs of this shoe. But shout out to Adidas for these. These are pretty sick. Really quick, let me read the note. It says, welcome to Zions. Zions spelled Z-X-I-E-N-C-E. -E. All right. Uh, the study of oddly satisfying ZX2K Boost. For those that love to experiment with the sole objective of satisfying the senses, we bring you an early sneak peek at the ZX2K Boost, the mad scientist of the Adidas Originals family. Now, um, they actually sent me a pair of these like six months ago, so I don't, I don't know if they mean the colorway is early, but I, I'm pretty sure I have. In fact, I've got a pair right back there. <laughs> That's actually from um, Sold by JC, but. All right, okay. With its surprising innovation, color, and unexpected design, the ZX 2K Boost brings out an oddly satisfying feeling that can't be put into words. All right, okay. Um, strangely squishy and playful. Seems like they did it. Uh, we invite you to try one of the most comfortable shoes to date. Thank you so much, Adidas. I really appreciate this. This is sick. It's a lot more bright than any of the other colorways of the shoe that I have, but hey, you know what? I'm into it. So to give you all a quick overview of the shoe, the upper of the sneaker comes in this nice white textile mesh. It's very bright, very clean looking. You've got these really interesting TPU overlays that kind of run from the midfoot of the shoe to the toe and also surround the eyelets. One of the most eye-catching details in the shoe, apart from the midsole, which we'll get to in a second, is the Adidas three stripes, or are the Adidas three stripes, that fade from sort of a dark blue to almost red, but they're not quite there. You've got a blue heel counter with a bright orange pull tab, and then moving down on the shoe, you've got this bright orange rubber cap that covers up the boost in the heel, which I'm assuming makes it a little bit more stable, but still allows some, uh, some vertical compression. And then you've also got this really nice fade from orange to blue on the boost on the forefoot of the shoe and of course your adidas logo right there on the lateral side it's not too crazy of a sneaker design wise or silhouette wise and that's because it's really a playoff of one of their older silhouettes the zx and so it's a, a newer modern update to that sneaker and because of that it has a very nice sort of retro vibe to it while still incorporating some newer features like boost size wise if i remember correctly i think the shoe fits true to size yeah, true to size. I mean, it definitely feels nice on feet. It's very breathable. Boost is obviously very comfortable. Boost in general is very, very comfortable underfoot. It's not a sneaker that I would ever run in, like the original running model that this shoe is based on, but it's a great lifestyle sneaker, and if you like the colorway, it's a great way to go. And I actually do like the colorway. I feel like it has this very nice sort of 90s vibrant look to it, so I'm into that for sure. I'm not gonna lie to you guys I was a little bit jealous when Tony and Cousteau got their pair So I'm really excited that Adidas actually sent me one so huge shout out to Adidas for this much appreciated I will be rocking these in the very near future, but okay on to the next package So I bought this package from fine line 1721 I saw him listed on his Instagram I went right to his website and I copped it and uh, I'm really excited to see it in person I'm trying not to cut the top of the box. That's why I'm doing it very lightly I don't want to ruin the, uh, the Jordan box here, but let's see if I did a good job or not. Oh, you know what? I did catch I did catch the top of the actual cardboard box, but not the Jordan box, so that's the important thing. 
Okay, let's pull it out. I bet a lot of you guys might actually know what this is just from the box itself. At least if you know what sneakers are coming out in the next couple weeks. This is a shoe that I've been looking forward to, I mean, honestly, since I saw the leaks. Um, and, oh man, I did get the box a little bit. I mean, this is like one of those shoes that I never thought was ever gonna happen. And then when I saw the leaks, I was like, no way. This reminds me of like mid-2000s Nike and Jordan brand. And because of that, I'm so hyped on this shoe. So as you can see, the outside of the box comes in this really nice semi-gloss, maybe a light matte finish that comes in black with the red Jumpman in the middle. And then on the front of the box, you've got the size tag and also the colorway, which I'm very excited to see. It is Varsity Maze Solar Orange. Hmm, simpler than I would have thought, but cool. Really quick, let me know in the comment section down below what you think this pair of sneakers is. And don't cheat, don't skip ahead, and don't read the other comments. I mean, not that anyone would know or care, but you would know. And I think that's the worst punishment of all. Let's pop open the top of the box. You've got this really nice cement print paper. And then pulling off the paper, we have got... Oh, man. Look at these. This is insane. So these are the What The Air Jordan 5s. And uh, this was really a sneaker that I never thought was going to happen. I thought that the uh, the what the sneakers were going to be sort of relegated to just the top three variants. Like we, we had the top three fives from a couple months ago. Those didn't feel like a what though. Those didn't feel like a true what the sneaker. And to be fair, I guess they weren't, but it's nothing like this. This is next level what though. This is really like the hell? So I'll definitely get into this more when I give you guys a full review of these sneakers, but I really felt like over the last decade, what the shoes haven't really been a thing anymore. Like the last couple what those we had that were really true what those were LeBron 10s and 11s and maybe even the 12s. We had the what the dunks, but I mean after that it was kind of just like top threes at best. So a what the sneaker for those of you who don't know what it is, is a shoe that combines a bunch of different colorways from classic colors that were used on the silhouette. So for example, this Air Jordan 5 features five or six different details and color blocked panels from different Air Jordan 5 colorways in the past, like really popular colorways. In fact, some of them got right back there. Like that's the Tokyo 5s. The whole right side of the pair is actually a Tokyo 5, which I think is so sick, which is like a grail sneaker for a lot of people, including myself. And that's why this sneaker is so exciting because not only does it combine a bunch of grail shoes into one shoe, but it's like a really cool almost object to show off the history of the Jordan 5 and what made this shoe so special and, and the colorways that really made it what it is. And that's why I love this so much because it's a crazy looking sneaker, but the history is there, man. I actually haven't done too much research on this shoe because I kind of wanted to look at it first before I uh, found out what all the different colorways are, but I'm gonna test my knowledge a little bit and guess what all the different colorways on the shoe are and you guys can tell me in the comment section down below if I'm right or if I'm wrong and then by the review, I'll, I'll know for sure. But obviously the right shoe primarily is made up of the Tokyo 5s, which is a really sick sneaker that I got for free from ComplexCon. Crazy, crazy event. The bottom of the shoe, like the midsole tooling and the outsole, I think is, I, I know it's a Bel Air, I just don't know if it's the uh, the alternates or the standards. I'm gonna lean more towards the standards and say that this is the uh, the original Bel Air 5 midsole and outsole, but not 100% sure on that one. It looks like the tongue, that be olives, olive tongue, you've got 3M, you've got the orange accent on the Jumpman and on the sock liner. And then the sock liner of the shoe, I think, is the Laser 5s because you've got the other Jordans kind of printed in there in this really cool sort of brown and uh, like teal color. How many colorways is that on this shoe? One, two, three, four. Okay, four. Let's move over to the left shoe. This one obviously has the, uh, the Raging Bull 5s on the upper. You've got this really nice bright red suede. You've got the Shanghai accent right there on the heel, so that's two colorways right there. You've got what seems to be the Bel Air sock liner. Again, I'm not 100% sure if that's the alternate Bel Airs or the original Bel Airs. And then the tongue itself, I think is the green beans. You've got a 3M tongue with the green Jumpman and the green sock liner on the back. I think it's the green beans. Pretty sure it's the green beans. And then uh, moving down on the shoe, you've got what seems to be the uh, the green bean or no. Oh no. I think it would be the, the K54 fives or the K5s. Again, not 100% sure. I need to look all that up. I think I'm pretty close though. Let me see how many colors we got in this one. We got one, two, three, four, five. This actually could also be the K54's uh, tongue as well. So it could be four, it could be five. At least eight different colorways on the shoe total, which is really cool. I wouldn't have been mad if they had maybe gone a little bit more like what the dunk and made every single panel on the shoe a different uh, a different shoe, but it is what it is. I think this is a really good what the shoe regardless, and I think it's more wearable because of that. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I think it might actually be harder to wear because it really looks like you're wearing two different shoes completely. I mean, obviously they are 
pretty much two different shoes, but at least if you had had a bunch of different colors making up the upper, it would have looked a little bit more like a, uh, a mashup shoe. This looks more like you're wearing a red shoe and a yellow shoe, so I guess in that way, wearability-wise, it might not be the most easy-to-wear shoe in the world, but for collectors, I think this is... This is fire. This is really, really fire. But like I said, there will be a review coming out in the very near future, literally probably hours from now, so make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't yet. But let me know in the comment section down below which shoes you like better, whether you like these, the uh, the Air Jordan 5 What Does, or the, uh, the ZX 2K Boosts, and which pair you would probably wear more. Honestly, wearability-wise, I think the Boost is the way to go. It's probably a lot more comfortable. But style-wise and, uh, and sneakerhead-wise, I think this is the, uh, the obvious winner. But let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you all in the next one.